And meanwhile, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is to meet with Speaker Femi Bajabia Mila for allegedly uh, not implementing the 2022 budget. The National Assembly had granted leave, empowering Nigeria's embassies and high commissions across the globe to spend the capital per, uh, components of their budgets without recourse to the headquarters of the ministry. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Disa reports on this. The deplorable state of Nigeria's embassies abroad has always been a major issue of concern. To address these and give a facelift to the embassies and high commissions, the National Assembly in the 2022 budget granted leave to them to be able to spend the capital components of their budgets without the ministry's authorization. But that is yet to be implemented. Please, this please is why Taraba lawmaker Kasimu Megari brings the matter to the attention of the House. He decries the rot and bottlenecks in the embassies and high commissions. Nigerian foreign mission and service officers have been at the receiving end of the negative effect of the action and inaction of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs headquarters which have sometimes resulted in hiring taxes for diplomats on official duties. The Chairman House Committee on Foreign Affairs and the Minority Leader relay pathetic and worsening conditions faced by the nation's embassies due allegedly to lack of funds. Yusuf Buba Yaku tells his colleagues how the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs allegedly ignored his committee's directive for the implementation of the 2022 Appropriation Act. When we visited Washington, uh, the cooling system in that building was not working. And we found Nigerians who have come with children to seek for consular services, removing their clothes because of heat, because it was a hot period. And they started shouting at us that what type of a country is this? Just There should be an investigative hearing on the issue that the ministry, where that letter written by the PAMSEC will be brought before that investigative hearing to ascertain that a PAMSEC will have that audacity to circumvent the law. This has controlled the speaker to seek audience with the permanent secretary and the minister of foreign affairs. PAMSEC and the minister of foreign affairs also see me on Tuesday in the office. Okay, sir. TVC News, Abuja.